Get your popcorn ready. It's the most high school football highlights tonight. See teams around the Arquitex in your community. It's the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. Welcome to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. The stakes are incredibly high tonight for area teams over in Texas. Their spots in the state championship games on the line tonight. It's the semifinals for the lower level games there. For upper levels, it's the start of the postseason. That's right, Wesley. Tonight, Louisiana, Calvary, and Bird. They can punch their ticket to Turpin Stadium. And other Louisiana teams are in the quarterfinals. Let's start things off in Louisiana. It's Bird and John Curtis battling for a spot in the state championship over at Lee Hedges. We we'll pick this one up in the second half as Lake Lambert finds Elijah Bower, who battles his way inside the five to the two. And that would set up this. Lambert extending the ball over the goal line. Thought John Curtis had him stop. The officials say he's in. And it's seven nothing Yellow Jackets in the third quarter. Curtis, they answer. As take a look, Dagan Cox pitches it to Caleb Spann. Spann wins the race to the pylon, and we're tied at seven. The Patriots, they weren't done. It's Spann one more time. He'll break free from the jacket defense. He fools everyone, including the cameraman, and the Patriots go up 13-7. This was a huge play, though, as the extra point ensuing, it goes wide left, so keep that in mind. It's only 13 to 7. Curtis, Bird answers. Mitchell, Ramsey running hard. Inside the 10 yard line he goes. He makes a few Patriots miss, and that sets up Bird with the scoring opportunity. The Yellow Jackets finish it off. Jason Little falls over the goal line. The extra point, good. 14 13 Yellow Jackets. Now, Carson Bruno, a play bird will always remember. The senior picks off Buddy Taylor to give the Yellow Jackets the ball with just two minutes remaining on fourth and two. Bird trying to ice it. William Perry brought down. They're going to bring out the chains. How's this for drama? He's short. Curtis, they'll get one more chance. It's the final play of regulation. Taylor scrambling, looking. The horn sounds, he throws it deep, and Junior Brown is there with the interception. Bird, they're moving on to the state championship, 14-13. Here's Coach Suggs after the game. This game was like this season. I mean, uh, you know, you saw the fight and the termination in our players. I mean, that, that program, everybody knows the quality of that program and that coaching staff and what they've done. and. Uh, to come in here and fight like we did. I mean, we knew it was going to be a dog fight, and it was all night long. And, uh, you know, to be able to, to win it by an extra point, you know, that's that's just something special. And, you know, we knew we knew they were going to be doing something tricky right there, second to last uh, offensive drive for them. And, you know, I just kind of got upfield because I was getting upfield uh, all night trying to get some pressure because we knew they were passing it. And I got upfield, and I realized I wasn't blocked. But I was already too close, you know what I'm saying? I was already too close to the quarterback, so I had to keep going. And then I, re he, I realized it was screen, but I had to keep going. And he cocked his arm back, and I just put my hands up right into my hands. And then from there, adrenaline took over. I think I lowered my shoulder, and then I tripped up. But, you know, it was amazing. Great breakdown from Carson Bruno there. Moving on over there. Spot on the line in the state championship, state championship game for Calvary. It's Southern Lev at Calvary tonight. Calvary, starting things off here. Joseph Wilson streaking down the sideline. And that's going to set up this Wilson again, showing off that speed. Look at him go breaking tackles. He's in for the score lab though. They still lead it eight to seven. That lead short lived second quarter. Liddy finding none other than Wilson in the end zone for another touchdown. Calvary leads 14 to eight kitten staying in it though. They're looking to tie things up in the second quarter and that's exactly what they do. Running back slides in for the score, it's 14-14. Liddy wants to send it to the break with the Calvary lead. Looking for Roderick Harris, Harris! Roderick rules. What a catch! He's marked in for the score, it's 21-14. Calvary at the break, third quarter now. Rain's gone, but the fog is out. Calvary's defense gets the big sack to force the turnover on downs. Then under three minutes left in the game, Wilson tops it off with this run. Look at him go carrying this defender for about 10 yards. Finally brought down. Look at the kneel. You love to see it. Calvary punching their ticket to the state championship game. 
Here's Coach Gewen and Landry Liddy after the game. I told them before the game, a lot of schools, a lot of kids never get the opportunity to play in a semifinal game. And, uh, you know, to make the most of it. But we may not get back to one for a while. And, uh, but, and, and they did. Super excited. I'm proud of these guys. I couldn't be more proud of them. I love these guys. These are my best friends. And uh, I'm just excited to show everybody that we're going to win state in two weeks. You know, this is a great group of guys. And they, they work through all the stuff we've had to go through. And they've never let up a beat since June. And, you know, they deserve this. They played well tonight. And, uh, you know, we're so thrilled. We're, we're, we're really a brotherhood this year. We're just a bunch of brothers that love each other. And we just play for each other. It's going to be a good Christmas. And uh, we got two weeks to get ready. What a start to the night, Wesley. Two tickets to the state championship punts. Logan Sport, they were on the road in the quarterfinals, taking on or Oak Grove. Logan Sport on the quarterback keeper, down to the 32-yard line. They were unable to cash in. And then Deuce Clement to Ron Creighton here. Creighton. Down near midfield. It was all Oak Grove tonight. Logan Sport just did not have an answer for Deuce Clement and company 67 to 14 Logan Sports season comes to an end. It's Haynesville on the road at East Iberville first drive of the ball game. East Iberville with a nice 17 play drive. John Carlisle Joseph rolls right finds Jaden Williams to move the sticks again. They but forgot the, the stickers on there. The helmet. drive would stall out. Keegan Goodwin After with 17 the 17 plays. Tigers would get no points on the long drive. 17 plays equals no points. Not a recipe for winning. Normally, second quarter now. Haynesville with the ball. Kedrick Greider cuts it against the grain. Look at him go. Greider grinding his way in for the score. It's 7 0. Golden Tornadoes. John, this sequence of events right here. Wild. Just before the end of the first half, East Iberville driving, but they've got no timeouts left. Oh, no. It's third and goal. Christopher Boudreaux around the end, but he can't stretch far enough for the goal line. Less than 10 seconds left. Coaches trying to call in the play. East Iberville trying to get lined up. Looks like they won't get the playoff. Haynesville Why? steps in, calls the timeout with five seconds what left. What are they doing? In the half, and that's going to give the Tigers a chance to huddle up with the oh, coaches. Oh, my god. Call gosh. a play, fourth and goal, up the gut. It's Skyler Jones. Jones in for the touchdown. Tigers score with no time left on the clock. PAT failed. Maybe they iced the kicker with the timeout. It's 7-6, to six, Haynesville at the half. But East Iberville, they get the win. They win 25 to 15. They're one singular golden tornado, Wesley Manny. They're on the road at A meet the talent on both these teams. Hard to measure. It was on full display tonight. As uh, take a look at this first play from scrimmage, old Johnny Walker. He throws a bomb to Coral Marotti for the score. Warriors take a 7 0 lead on the number one seat on the ensuing drive. Manny answers Terrence Williams. He's good at football, Wesley. He takes the handoff. And he finds the end zone to tie this game up at seven apiece. Manny, they also get a two point conversion and they are up eight seven. Let's jump to the second quarter now. Manny up 14 seven. London Williams. London Bridge is falling down. He spins off a tackle and finds Pater. Tigers up 21 to seven. Later in the quarter, we go. A meet. They're not going away. Brennan Harrell. He finds the end zone. Look at the speed from Harrell. 21 14 at the half. A meet gave number one all they could handle, but it's not enough. 34 30. The Tigers move on. The Wildcats of Destrahan taking on the Bearcats of Ruston. What a matchup. Destrahan starting things off. It's fourth down now. Jay Eugene. Lefty. Try to find some room, but he slips. Jalen Pinnegar credited with the sack there. Turnover on downs. Huge play there, right? Later on in the ball game, though, Destrahan. They've got the ball right back. That's their freshman running back, Shane Lee Lee. Look at the big man, Lee, lowering the shoulder, planning the defender, but they couldn't score. They couldn't turn that into points. Rustin now, Jaden Osborne takes the snap, drops back, finds a receiver, just how they drew it up. Ball's tipped right. into the hands of a Bearcat. You don't see that every day. What a catch there. Both teams, though, couldn't score almost through three quarters. Here we and go. And Destrahan would score. The only points of the night. They go on to win six to nothing over Rustin. Shoot out there. Coming up, we head over to Texas. Carthage takes on Wimberley. We've got the highlights next. Right! 